Good morning, Cedar Ridge. I'm Christopher Zorowski. And I'm Colin Mallet. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Wolf TV. TV. Uh, the hour-long lunch is a great opportunity for, for students to study and just hang out with friends. But recently, students have been taking advantage of this. And uh, be sure to not abuse the privilege of the hour-long lunch. Students, please keep in mind that any posters you want to put up have to be approved by administration first. So please talk to them before you just go and put it up. In other news, uh, be sure to congratulate Mrs. Howes on getting the Teacher of the Year for the 2017 school year. It is the greatest accomplishment, and we are proud of you. Good job, Ms. Howes. This past week is Foreign Language Week. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Hannah. My side name is Hannah. I am happy to celebrate National Foreign Language Week at Cedar Ridge High School. American Sign Language is a very important language. Within the United States, ASL is spoken by over 300,000 people every day. I started the ASL club at Cedar Ridge High School. I teach the language, raise awareness for deaf culture, and fundraise for deaf schools in South Africa and Mexico. I'm learning a different language because it helps me understand different people's perspectives and learn different cultures. I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you. Esta semana, el 7 al 13 de marzo, fue la Semana de Lenguas Extranjeras. Esto significa que es tiempo de celebrar todos los idiomas extranjeros. Este evento fue creado por Alfa Mugama en la primavera de 1957 para concientizar a los Estados Unidos de la importancia de los idiomas extranjeros. Aquí en Cedar Ridge, celebramos esta semana con actividades y eventos de lunes a viernes. Empezamos la semana bailando bachata y salsa en el escenario. Adicionalmente, algunos de nuestros estudiantes bilingües cantaron La Vida es Carnaval. Jueves aprendimos a bailar el tango. Hoy día estaremos proyectando el globo rojo en la clase de videografía. También tendremos un banquete román de parte del Club Latino. Sir Ridge tuvo una semana de lenguajes extranjeros excelente. Y el año que viene será mejor. Thanks, guys. And speaking of foreign languages, Cedar Ridge Videography's Film Friday for today is Le Belon Rouge, so please come on down and take a look. Congrats to Cornhole Mania winners Brandon Andrews and Philip Berger. I hope you guys enjoy that prize, and you guys did a great job. Tomorrow, Saturday the 11th, is the Pancakes for Parkinson's event at Highway 55 in Hillsboro. Please go out and support this amazing cause. This past week, Fast Boy investigated the issue of trash in the courtyards. Let's, Let's peep this out. out. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, Hey, so I evidently, you people in the courtyard don't know how to use this. So let's check it out. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? What the heck is this? What the, what the heck is this? Yeah, don't let her throw it away. Throw it away. Hey, Mr. Paulson, how are you doing today? Hey, Fast Boy, how are you? I'm well. We're on a campaign to help clean up the courtyard. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, can't believe it. <laughs> what? What is? What is this graffiti? This is. This is a, come on guys, this is our school. Don't graffiti the place. Even though these are little, just like little words, they can hurt our environment. So please, throw it away. Hey, there's some trash over there. Can you go pick it up for me and be a good citizen? Wow. What a guy. He, what a hero. Look at that. He's picking that trash up. Clap it up, you guys. Clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Ugh. Throw it away. Thanks, Fast Boy. And another fast news, we're running a GoFundMe campaign to get Fast Boy a set of Heelys. Fast Boy can't go fast. He needs something special only you, the viewers, can provide him. He needs Heelys so he can go fast, boy. You got me singing like... Please show your support. Now let's go to Robert Vanderdrift with Good evening, this is Robert Vanderweather here with the first ever weather segment on Wolf TV. This evening I will be talking about the development of a storm system next week tracking across the US. As you can see here, we have 
a baroclinic wave that is formed and is moving across the northern tier of the US. Of course, to its south, there is an associated frontogenesis that will lead to severe storms popping up over the plains. These storms will be fueled by high convective available potential energy. However, they will be limited by a low level temperature inversion that will keep them from rising all the way to the top of the. Shut up! But all I, we want to know, all our viewers want to know is, am I going to need this next week? Um, I, I don't know. Let me check my weather app. Yeah, yeah, on Tuesday. You'll need it. It's going to be in the 60s. And then it's going to be raining on Tuesday. All right, good. Thanks, Robert. We would also like to congratulate Robert for getting a scholarship on behalf of his dedication to meteorology. Congrats. If you're a rising junior or senior and you like what you see on Wolf TV, you might want to consider signing up for the Cedar Ridge Videography Program. It's a lot of fun and it's worth six college credits. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching Wolf TV. And, and as, as always, always, shine bright like a diamond. diamond.